Hi everyone, welcome to the second video for Module 9 of Kinesis 7103. In today's video, we want to talk about interactions between our categorical predictor variables and really understand the difference between the main effect of one variable and an interaction. So we're going to be spending more time talking about more complicated designs when we're building these factorial ANOVAs and what it means to really have the main effect of one factor, the main effect of another factor, and the interaction between the two. But in this video, I just want to kind of break it down to a simple case where we have a two by two design and we're thinking about this at a more conceptual level um, before we jump into some of the more computational aspects of how these, how these contrast codes work in this situation. So we're going to present a hypothetical experiment in which we have a two-factor design, and each factor has two levels. So in our, in our fake experiment, we're going to have uh, either a factor of placebo, where you either got a placebo pill or you got nothing, uh, and your gender. So we had men, sort of uh, all, all categories of adult men, right? whether they're older, younger, uh, all, all adult men, and all adult women. All right, so, and then in this hypothetical experiment, what we're going to do is induce controlled thermal pain to both the males and females who have either been given a placebo, which they are told is actually an analgesic, um, or they've been given nothing. So the idea is that they hold on to this little uh, sensor that's going to get warmer and warmer, uh, and then it gets up to like the temperature of sort of a hot cup of coffee, uh, and then they rate how painful they feel that this actually is. Uh, if they've been given a placebo, right, they've been told this is an analgesic, and we want to see if that has an effect on their perceptions of pain relative to if we've given them nothing. So we've crossed the factor of gender, whether we have men or women, with the factor of placebo, right, whether you got the placebo pill or you got nothing. So hypothetically, right, we'd have lots of people in each of these different cells. Let's say our N per group was 30. So we'd have 30 males who took nothing here, 30 males who had the placebo here, 30 women who took the placebo here, 30 females who took nothing here. In order to simplify the, the, this, this design though, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show the mean of each of these groups in this box. So there's 30 people behind each of these scores. But what we're going to be looking at is the mean of each of these groups. So here's the mean of men who had the placebo, mean of women who had the placebo, mean of men who had nothing, and the mean of women who had nothing. Now, in our model, when we're talking about the main effect of gender, right, that's gender on average across the levels of the other group or ignoring the other group is the other way of thinking about that, right? So quite literally, that means we're taking the average of the two different conditions, men with 5.3 and 7.5, the average is 6.4, women with 6.4 and 6.6, .6, their average is 6.5. So the main effect of gender is the comparison between these two means, because here we're looking at men on average across levels of the placebo and women on average across levels of placebo. And again, the other way you can think about that is that this is, this is the score for men ignoring which the other factor, and this is the score for women ignoring the other factor. So for our main effect of gender, we average across whether or not you got the placebo. Similarly, for the main effect of the placebo, we average across the two different genders. So for our placebo pill, right, we had uh, men had a mean of 5.3, women had a mean of 6.4, so the resulting mean is 5.58. For the, our, our group who got nothing, men had a mean of 7.5, women had a mean of 6.06, .06, so the resulting mean is 7.05. So this comparison then would tell us about the main effect of getting the placebo. On average, across men and women, People who got the placebo had lower pain ratings than people who got nothing, again, averaging across men and women. So the way we interpret the main effect of placebo is on average across men and women, uh, which is to say, ignoring gender, what is the effect of the placebo? We can then also look at the interaction between these two effects, right? And again, a statistical interaction is telling us if the effect of one variable depends on another variable. So in this case, if we want to test the interaction, we have to look at the effect of placebo in men and the effect of placebo in women. You could also look at this the other way around and look at the effect of gender in the placebo group or the effect of gender in the nothing group. But let's look at it uh, in these terms, at least to start with. We're going to look at the effect of getting the placebo in men. They had a difference of 2.2. And the effect of placebo in women, by comparing these conditions, they had a difference of 0 0.2. So if we want to test the interaction, what we're really looking at is the difference in these differences, right? 
For males, the difference between getting the placebo and getting nothing was a reduction in pain perception of 2.2. For women, the, the difference in getting the placebo versus getting a nothing was a reduction in pain perception of 0 0.2. Clearly, this effect was a lot bigger for men than it was for women. Right? And assuming that this was statistically different, right, this two-point change might lead us to conclude that there was, in fact, a statistically significant interaction. So the, the way to think about this interaction is we are asking, are the differences different? Right? Is the difference or the effective treatment in one group statistically different from the effective treatment in the other group? More correctly, we might phrase this as that the effective placebo changes as a function of a person's gender. Now, another really good way to visualize this, and that I think helps you understand the difference between main effects and interactions, is to actually plot the results. So here we're plotting thermal pain on the y-axis. So again, lower numbers mean less perceived pain. And we're plotting which group you are in, right? So our one factor on the x-axis. And then we're gonna color code our lines based on our other factor. So this red line, right, shows the, uh, the two data points for men. They had a 5.3 and a 7.5. And the slope, right, as we go from placebo to nothing, this would be a 2.2 point difference. For women, right, they, here they're represented by the blue line. So they have a 6.4 and a 6.6. .6, so their slope is a lot flatter because the change from placebo to nothing for women is only 0.2. So the slope of the blue line is going to reflect the placebo effect among women. Now, when we look at these two lines against each other, the different slopes helps us infer that there is, in fact, an interaction here. Because if we're looking at the effect of placebo in one group, right, that for men, it's this change. For women, it's this change. So the placebo seems to be much more effective in reducing thermal pain among men than it is among women. So this interaction effect, right, uh, is, 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 is complicated as these designs get bigger and bigger. But I think focusing on it in this sort of two group comparison is a little bit easier. And as we start from this, we can then build out into more complicated situations where maybe we have three levels of one factor or three levels of both factors or even more levels, right, of multiple factors. And as we add factors or as we add levels, the interaction is a little bit harder to spot, but the interpretation is always going to be the same. The main effect tells us about the effect of one variable on average across the levels of the other variable, whereas interactions will tell us if the effect of one variable depends on the level of another variable. So in this case, we have a pretty clear interaction effect, right, uh, it, where the effect of the placebo for men was about an order of magnitude bigger than the effect of the placebo for women. So in order to view the main effect, right, the main effect of placebo is when we average across males and females. So in the placebo group, right, we'd average across men and women. So we would take 5.3, averaged with 6.4 to get 5.58. And in the nothing group, we'd take 7.5, averaged with 6.6 .6, to get 7.05. So the difference between 5.85 and 7.05, right, is represented by this line, which starts and stops at the average of men and women for both the placebo and the nothing group. And that would be a slope or a change of 1.2. We can also plot the main effect of gender, right, by averaging within a group across the two different placebo conditions. So for men, we would take 5.3 and average that with 7.5 to get 6.4. For women, we'd take 6.4 and average that with 6.6 .6 in order to get 6.65. So the main effect of men and women is pretty small, right? And this is negative 0. Okay, let's do a little bit of practice uh, interpreting these, these, these statistical main effects and interactions. So now we're presenting slightly different data. So let's say we ran this experiment and our data turned out a slightly different way. Uh, here is the line for women. Here is the line for men. Take a second to look at this plot and think about, uh, is there a main effect of gender? Is there a main effect of condition? And then do these terms interact? And, and we'll be representing this with a series of contrast codes. Okay, so we'd have a lambda one, which in which females are coded as one, males are coded as negative one, and a lambda two, in which the placebo group is coded as one, the, uh, the, the nothing group is coded as negative one, 
And then we'd have an interaction, right, which is the cross product of our two codes. So one and one is one, negative one and one is negative one, one and negative one is negative one, negative one and negative one is positive one. And then we'd be putting all of these into a model A, which ultimately is going to estimate the mean for each gender in each condition, right? So here we have our four different groups. We're gonna have a model A that predicts the mean of each group. But in looking at these data, do you think there's a main effective gender, a main effective condition, and is there a statistically significant interaction? Well, to find out, right, we can, we'd have to actually do the math, but visually we can, we can think about it this way. The main effective gender, right, again, is going to be averaging the two different groups of males together. So we're going to average our placebo group with our nothing group to get a score for males. Uh, whoops, so a score for males down here. And then we'll average our placebo group with our nothing group to get a score for females uh, up here. And you can see that uh, on average, right, it looks like there might be a difference between men and women in this study. Now, is there a difference between conditions? Well, in order to measure the difference between conditions, right, the main effect of condition, we'd have to look at uh, averaging with our two placebo groups together. So we take men averaged with women and we get an average there. We take men averaged with women in the two nothing groups and we get an average there. And in comparing those two points, it looks like there's not going to be a main effect of condition because they are approximately equal. And finally, is the interaction there? Well, we'd have to check the slopes. Is the difference uh, in the differences different, right? So we'd have to look at uh, the, the, the effect of placebo, right, for our women, uh, it looks like it's pretty close to zero or very small. The effect of the placebo for men looks like it's pretty close to zero or very small. And indeed, these lines are actually parallel, so the effects are no different. There is zero difference for the placebo effect between these two conditions. So in this situation, it looks like we might have a main effect of gender, no main effect of condition, and no statistically significant interaction. Next, we can look at a, a different hypothetical set of data. So again, same three questions, right? Is there a main effect of gender? Is there a main effect of condition? And do these terms interact? Well, in order to get the main effect of gender, right, we're going to look at our line uh, and we're going to average across the two groups for, for each category, right? So for, for men, um, we're going to average the placebo with a nothing group to get a point on the line here. And then for women, we'll average with the placebo with a nothing group to get a point on the line here. And those estimates look quite different. So there's probably a main effect of gender in these data. To look at the main effect of condition, right, we're going to look at our two placebo groups. We're going to average men and women together to get a point here. And then we'll look at our two nothing groups. We'll average men and women together to get a point here, right? And it looks like there is a change. It looks like thermal pain ratings were lower with the placebo group. So we would say that there's probably a main effect of condition in these data. But is there a statistically significant interaction? I mean, again, we'd have to actually run the numbers to find out, but it looks very unlikely in this situation because the effect of placebo, right, is negative for men. They go down from this point to this point. And for women, they go down from this point to this point, which appears to be approximately the same magnitude. So the effect of condition seems to be there for both groups, right, uh, regardless of your gender. So if our data looked like this, we'd probably have a situation in which we have a main effect of gender, a main effect of condition, but no statistically significant interaction because the effect of condition is approximately the same in both groups. Now, what about this situation? Do you think there's a main effect of gender, a main effect of condition, and do you think there's a statistically significant interaction? Well, to get the main effect of gender, again, right, we take our two groups within each gender. We'd average the placebo and the nothing groups together to get one effect for males, average the placebo and the nothing groups together to get one effect for females. And those points are going to be right over the top of each other. So it doesn't really look like there's a main effect of gender. Similarly, for the main effect of condition, we're going to take our two groups who got the placebo and average them together to get one point here. We'll take our two groups who got nothing and average them together to get one point here. And these two points aren't very different from each other. It looks like there'd be a flat line connecting them. So it doesn't really look like there would be a main effect of condition here. However, there's almost certainly going to be a statistically significant interaction in this situation because you can see that for men, their thermal pain ratings actually went up when they got the placebo 
Whereas for women, their thermal pain ratings went down when they got the placebo. So again, we'd actually have to you know, go through the calculations of the sum of squared errors for the different models and do the proper model comparisons to say, is this statistically significant? But this pattern is suggestive of an interaction right? because the slopes are in opposite directions. The effect of placebo is positive for males. They're giving higher thermal pain ratings, whereas the effect of placebo is negative for females, and they're giving lower thermal pain ratings relative to getting nothing. All right, so one more example that we can look at. So again, we want to see, is there a main effect of gender, a main effect of condition, and is there an interaction? So we have our men and we have our women, right? And to see if there's a main effect of gender, we're going to have to average within a group across the levels of the other variable. So for the main effect of gender, we look on the line for men, we take the average of those who got the placebo and the average of those who got nothing, they're here. For women, we take the average of those who got the placebo and the average of those who got nothing, and they're here, right? So these look reasonably different on average, right? Again, we have to do the math, but these points aren't in the same place. It looks like men have higher thermal pain ratings than women in this situation. Main effective condition, right? We take our two placebo groups, we'd average men and women together to get a point here, and we'd take our two nothing groups, we'd average men and women together to get a point here. And again, it looks like there is actually a positive change here. So on average, people's thermal pain rating scores generally went down when they got the placebo. So here we might have a main effective gender and a main effective condition. However, there's also going to be a statistically significant interaction. Right? Because we see that the effect of the placebo changes as we go from one group to the other. For men, there's a negative effect of the placebo. Their thermal pain ratings go down. Women, however, are unaffected by the placebo if the data looked like this. And their pain ratings didn't change whether they took the placebo or whether they got nothing. So in this case, we'd have two main effects, but we would also have an interaction. And this raises an important point because the interaction trumps the main effects. The interaction supersedes the main effects. And the reason for that is that main effects tell us what's happening on average, right? On average, between the placebo and the nothing groups, uh, men had higher thermal pain ratings than women. On average, between males and females, right, the placebo group had lower thermal pain scores than the nothing group. But the interaction tells us we shouldn't actually look at these things on average. We shouldn't consider averaging across groups because the effect of the placebo really depends on whether you were a man or whether you were a woman. Uh, and if you were a man, you tended to show a negative effect of receiving the placebo, whereas if you were a woman, you were relatively un unaffected. So I hope that helps, gives you a little bit more practice about how to visualize these uh, main effects and, and, and statistical interactions and understand the conceptual difference between the two. Right? Again, uh, main effects are the effect of one factor when we're averaging across levels of another factor. And interactions tell us if the effect of one variable depends on the level of another variable.